Look at the dung beetle there, the one right there. And that I've never seen. He's pushing a, look at that, a tube, yeah. Let's see, unless he's busy making a ball still. Let's just see what he does. Let's watch him for a bit. It looks like he's breaking through it there. You can see he's cutting into the dung. So maybe he's now, he's, he's had a piece of dung and he just pushed it to get a bit of a shape. Now he's chopping it in half. And hopefully he'll then get it into a bit more of a ball. So let's watch this process a bit. He's leaving some of it behind. Now you have to ask yourself, is that pure instinct or is he thinking about that? Is he planning? Getting a different perspective on things. Yeah, it's got a slightly better shape there now. Bit of a strange way of making the ball. Typically, dung beetles, they make the ball sort of, you know, they find the patch of dung where there's buffalo dung or rhino or whatever, but obviously plenty of dung. And then they'll, they'll sculpt the ball out of that a little bit like, only a little bit like, not a lot like, but a little bit like Michelangelo when they asked him, you know, how did you sculpt that amazing statue of the horse? I forgot the sculpture's name. He said, no, it's very easy. You just look at the marble and you chip away everything that doesn't look like a horse. And uh, I think maybe the dung beetles are the same. They take a big pile of dung and they take away everything that doesn't look like a bull. But this specific one seems to have had a bit of a different approach. It's not the usual way. I've, like I said, I've never seen that before. It's maybe just odd circumstance. Well, he seems to be taking a break now. Dung beetles, scarab beetles.